Welcome back to my yard. I'm Will, the Backyard Canuck. Well, the warmish weather has arrived and the snow is disappearing fast. Only a couple of small piles of snow remain in my area. However, that has brought on a whole new issue that I'm going to have to address early in the spring once the ground starts to dry out. Voles. It is the vole apocalypse. So much vole damage all over my yard. The front yard I thought was bad, but manageable since I saw it first. Then when the snow in the back started melting, I couldn't believe how much they tore my yard apart this year. I've usually had some minor damage from voles, but this year they tore it up bad. My whole area has been having vole issues. Guess that means my lawn was nice, lush and tasty to chew on though. So let's talk about my plans for the coming lawn care season. The things I have to do, the things I want to do, and the things I would like to do if possible. Now the things I have to do are starting with the spring lawn cleanup. I'll do a full video on my spring cleanup later on. With that, the cleanup, I will run the mower over the lawn, pick up the larger piles of dead debris from the voles. After that, I'll run the dethatcher over the lawn on the highest setting to lightly rake the grass and pick up the matted grass and any other dead debris in the lawn. Along with the spring cleanup, I'll be getting a new barbecue since mine is completely falling apart. While out shopping, I also have to get a new hose reel as mine is broken and spewing water in places where it shouldn't be. I got the new tip for my backpack sprayer to try this year and we'll be trying it out with the spring fertilizer I put down after the cleanup. For the fertilizer, I'll be trying the TNT Starter Spring Fertilizer from Grove Forge. The other thing I have to do is build another garden planter box for our yard that Mrs. Canuck wants. The two boxes that we have right now were built by my stepfather for us, but he sadly passed away last year. So I have to try to duplicate the work he did since we can't afford to put in the stack stone garden we want. We had put one in in the old house and it was really nice garden for us, but just not in the budget right now. Also at the planter box, we will be planting all of our flowers and vegetables and all of our planters, pots and our front flower bed. With the garden box, it also leads to some of the things I want to do. While we get the soil for the garden box, I'd like to get a few yards of soil overall because I'm probably going to need to fix some of the worst patches in the yard from the voles damage that I'm sure will be revealed during the cleanup. I also want to do some leveling in the yard. There are some bad spots in the yard that are really bad dips that I want to build up. The leveling is going to be an ongoing project over the few seasons, but this year I want to get the worst dips leveled out. With these larger dips, I'm going to have to put down some seed in those areas as well. I'd also like to continue adding more trees to the backyard and building up the line of cedars on our yard. At the same time we are planting the cedars, Mrs. Canuck would also like to add more shrubbery as well probably either another lilac variant or another hydrangea, whichever one she finds that she likes the color of. I would also like to try out more of the Grow Forge liquid fertilizers for this season as well to see how the lawn responds to that. When it comes down to what I would like to do, are all based on budget during the season. There is a section between the houses where our gate is. I'd like to put some river stone in since the grass there is never taken. With it being at the gate as well, it is constantly getting worn down. So I'm thinking it would be good to tie into the stonework that the neighbor has there and make it all flow together. As I have mentioned in previous videos, I want to create a DIY irrigation system for my yard. I'll probably never have a full irrigation system without winning the lottery, but the DIY system that Ryan Nora made is something I'd like to try out to reduce watering times for my yard. Now this is just a general guide of what I'm going to be doing this season, staying with the basic practices of lawn care to keep up the mowing, watering, feeding, removing the weeds. I might try to add some extra stuff in there this season. I know my dad is talking at doing a top dress and overseed to his lawn, so maybe I'll give a look at how that comes along this year. My mom's looking at some help with her yard for her thinning grass. But that's it for this video for now. Let's go have a cold one, prepare to enjoy the best time of the year, and I hope you'll continue to join me along the way. Cheers.